All right, as guacamole for your avocado trees. I'm so jealous. Actually, if you want a use for avocado, and I'm sure you do this, just like this, fill it with olive oil, lemon, salt and pepper, and just scoop it out like that. It's such an elegant, elegant salad. So, like guacamole. So, easy way to remove the pit. Just slam it with the, with the knife, and then you just scoop it out. These are perfect avocados. I'm very excited. No, Helen, not for you. Let me show you that again. Twist. Out. Avocados are like a perfect food in terms of uh, nutrients. The only thing is cholesterol. So if you're watching your cholesterol, you want to watch how much avocado you have. But boy, are they good for you. And boy, are they delicious. I'm using three because these are pretty small. And because Django and I are a little greedy about our guacamole. Again, this one's going to come out easy anyway. <laughs> All right. Sometimes you don't need the big tricks. Sometimes it just works for you. Okay. So we have beautiful avocados that I'm just going to kind of smash around. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a tomato. I'm going to pierce it and I'm just kind of going to gut it. I don't want the skin, but I do want the seeds and just a bit of the juice. This is a sad sad tomato from the supermarket. Not like the ones I grew, but that's okay. It'll do its job. Then, cilantro. I used to not be able to stand cilantro when I was a little girl. The flavor was way too intense for me. But now, I love it on everything. Red onion, chopped. And all these things you can chop coarsely. It doesn't need to be this perfect little dice. This is good peasant food. I'm going to put one pretty big clove of garlic in there. And You can also put olive oil in this if you want to, just to smooth out the flavor in case you've added too much of anything else. Mayonnaise, although don't tell anyone who is Hispanic, uh, works well too to kind of blend the flavors. Uh, the pit you want to save because if you're going to store this for any amount of time, you're going to make your salad, put the pit in the middle, and then uh, put saran wrap right over the top of it. I don't know why it works. I don't know if it really works, but evidently the pit is supposed to keep it from browning. Okay. So, some people like smooth guacamole. I like rough guacamole. perfectly right. Beautiful. I'm going to add some more cilantro and <clears throat> let's see, salt.
Now, you can add hot sauce if you want to. I happen to have a fresh jalapeno, and I just took a quarter of it, and I am going to throw it in. See, just about that much is going to be really hot. But we can take it. We live in New Mexico. Django just tasted a bit of the jalapeno all by itself. Are you doing? <laughs> dying? Are you dying? Okay. Oh God, that's so good. That's so good. We need chips now. So you could chop iceberg lettuce and just put this on top and eat it like that. You can put it on top of a tostada or inside a taco or just eat it by the spoonful or just eat it like this. Mmm. Mmm. Jalapeno is hot. That tastes great. But just need a little more salt. And always for me, more lime. What you're going by is a little bit of balance in the flavors, but really what you like. Make it for a greedy you. Let's try this now. 